wow what a week it has been since i last talked to y'all happy monday i realize every time i get on here that i realize i forget to put my like lipstick on before i film i mean not that i really needed on to work at home today but i can't remember i haven't looked at my schedule yet and i cannot remember if we have any um um, we, ha we use blue jeans. We don't use zoom, but it's the same thing as zoom. But if we have any meetings today, I think it's tomorrow. I don't think we have any today, but put my face on just in case. Plus it makes me feel better, but y'all, it has been such a crazy week. So a few things, um, I'm going to go over some tips here in just a second of getting back on track after binging. And there, with keto, it seems to be a little bit different. And these are just some things that I've gathered from my friends uh, who have been on keto much longer than me. And they have given me a lot of advice over the last, you know, few months um, that I've had some issues. And so it's just things that I've gathered from them. And it's just something I definitely need to implement this week. I really do. And I actually started yesterday. Had a really good day yesterday. Um, but... Let me first just give you a little update on, you know, this is Monday's video. Monday's video is always kind of an update video. So a couple of things. My husband has on, is on a new medication. I think I told you guys that because the medication he was on before we figured out was what was causing the decline in his kidneys. Well, we think it is. He's supposed to go back in June, which if that is going to happen, I don't know. They may just have him do a blood test and then maybe not have to go see. We have blood tests actually already scheduled to be done before we go into his appointment. So I don't know the, it, who knows what's gonna be going on in June, you know, who knows. But that is his next scheduled appointment with his kidney specialist. But we were pretty sure it is, was two different medications. One of them was over the counter, which was easy to stop. And the other was a um, once prescribed by his psychiatrist and they ended up changing it. Um, so he had made the decision though, not to start taking the new medication to see what would happen with taking was just with the medication he was on it didn't work so he ended up taking the new medication um, about a week after the switch so ever since then he has had off and on like insomnia with this new medication it has been he's been on it now probably for about six weeks I know it's been six weeks because yeah he just had his appointment with his doctor after four weeks of him being on it yeah so about six weeks um so the thing is it did not get really bad until he decided he wanted to switch over his allergy medication. I said, why do you want to switch your allergy medication? Allergies are just really bad right now. We are like one of, it's like the highest in the pollen count and all that stuff right now. So I don't think any, what any kind of allergy medicine that you are on, it's going to impact it when you have as bad as allergies as he does. And um, lately even mine have been really bad and I don't even have super bad allergies, but he just wanted, he goes, well, I used to take this other stuff a long time ago. But this, he's been taking Zyrtec, and that's what his doctor actually had him on when it was prescription. And then when it went over the counter, then, you know, insurance stopped paying for it and all that. So we have the over the counter, which he's always taken it. He takes two a day, one in the morning, one at night. No issues, but for some reason, he just wanted to change. And so we pick up Claritin. And that, I think, mixed with his new medication, it was causing terrible reactions. So the insomnia some mania it's been a roller coaster y'all and he took this the last week was his second week of taking the claritin and i think it just took that long to get into his system so he hadn't been sleeping he's been like up and down all night not just just wired and not able to go to sleep i think it's actually both medications because even when we got the new medication the pharmacist even told us make sure he takes it early in the morning because it will keep you up if you take it later in the day and he always takes it super early in the morning because he takes it before he goes to work. So it's usually about four o'clock in the morning that he's been taking it. But I don't know, but it just, I think I just hit like a breaking point this weekend and think just with everything else going on, everything in the world and then that, and it was just hard for me emotionally and mentally to keep it together. And I had like this weird breakdown on Saturday and it was just like I hadn't slept because he hadn't slept and it was just, yeah, it was just very weird. Anyway, um, so he's been going through that. Last, yesterday I would not let him, I just told him, I said, you cannot sleep and he was tired because he hadn't slept the night before. So I, but I switched him back to Zyrtec because we still had a whole bunch because I buy it at Costco. 
And so I said, we need to, no, stop the Claritin. So about three days, right when this was starting to happen. So like Thursday, I think, Friday? No, it was like Friday. Yeah, Friday. He, we switched him back over to the Zyrtec and he is breathing better. So that's another thing too, is like his breathing was super bad while he was on the Claritin and the Zyrtec. I mean, he still has the breathing issues that we don't, undiagnosed, we still don't know what it is. We kind of had to stop with the testing when all this stuff happened. And so, um, but the Claritin didn't seem to make it any better at all. And it actually, his breathing got worse these last few days because he was so congested. And so, um, we put him back on the Zyrtec and he seems a lot better today and he slept all night last night. So hopefully we got that taken care of. Um, anyway, so needless to say, I had a couple day binge. I don't want to talk about that. I just want to get past it. But let's talk about some tips to get back on track after having a binge or a two or three day binge like some of us have been having. Um, so these are just, like I said, some tips that I've kind of gathered from my friends. And one of them is definitely drink lots of liquids because what's going to happen is your body has built up with all these, what they call glycogen, glycogen, glycosin, I don't know, glycosin, maybe that's it, um, in your body. And you, that's what you flush when you're on keto to begin with. And if you don't drink a lot of water when your body's flushing that you're going to get dehydrated so the main thing is remember to drink lots and lots of liquids of course water first they say but y'all know it's just whatever you can drink just drink just be hydrated just hydrate yourself so that's my number one tip um a second one is really up to you it's more of a personal thing and that's going back to tracking so this week i think i'm gonna try to track what I'm having every day. So I have my macros. Um, I can put them in my videos if you like. The only thing I don't like about putting my macros in the videos is that with carbs, it's so sensitive. I noticed when I've been on other eating plants, like when I was Weight, Weight Watchers, almost all foods, no matter what brand you had, was pretty much the same points. With carb counts, it's completely different and protein even and fat and all that. So when I show you my stuff, it's kind of like, okay, well, don't think that every time you have the same meal or the same exact recipe that it's going to be exactly what mine is because it may not because I may be using different brands than you're using. So just always plug it in. Use Carb Manager. Plug it into the recipe editor. It's super easy to use. Um, so do that. And you can do it on your computer. You don't have to only you do it on your phone. A lot of people are you know don't like to do things on their phone, but you can do, I put, most, I, when I use the recipe builder on Car Manager, I do it through the computer because it's much easier for me. So go back to tracking, pre-planning if you can, that's the number two tip. And even if it is just for a few days, that's what I'm going to do just for the rest of this week. Eat more fat. That's one thing that Nassine taught me. She's like, eat more fat. She's like, it always helps when you've been off of keto for a few days or if you've just been on a binge and it helps keep you full because you tend to have more cravings after you have been off of keto. So eating that extra fat. So like avocados, eggs, you know, some cheese, some bacon, those kind of things. So just eat extra fat. Um, intermittent fasting, that's one that everybody always says. The thing is, I just, I, for some reason, me and intermittent fasting does not get along anymore. I don't know what the dealio is, but it just does not seem to work for me much anymore. But I just kind of look at it like I'll try to fast as long as I can, but I'm still having my coffee in the morning because it just makes me happy and I need right now happiness. So I have to have my coffee. I mean, I have any food like right now, I'm not hungry, so I'm not going to eat anything right now. Um, eat as few carbs as possible. So even less than the 20 net carbs that you usually stick to with keto, maybe try to eat even less than that. And if like the carbs only come from fat, that's what I kind of try to do, but it, it's just as few as possible. Um, electrolytes, don't forget your electrolytes because you're gonna start getting, but depending on how many days you have been off of keto and depending on how far off of keto you went, you could start experiencing some of the keto flu symptoms again when you get back on there. So some of the lightheadedness, the dizziness, um, just the general feeling of not feeling well. And so the electrolytes help. So like Powerade Zero, I know it's not the best form of electrolytes, but if that's the cheapest form probably, um, doing some of the Sole water, um, then the Zip Fizz, so I still have some Zip Fizz, le zip fizz left, so I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, exercise, I was gonna do that this morning, but my husband was up and he would have left and came into the bedroom, but I didn't worry about it. I may have him do that for the rest of the week if he keeps getting up the same time I do. <laughs> 
uh, reach out to friends. So have a support system. And if you don't feel like you have one at home, there's my um, Facebook group. So I will put the name up here. Um, there's all of us here on YouTube. Just leave any of us a comment, send any of us a message on Instagram or in our you know videos or on our Facebooks, wherever you are connecting with us. If you don't feel like you have anything at home, especially if you're not at work right now and your support system is at work, which is a, with a lot of us, um, then just reach out to anybody you can reach out to to help support you through this. And the last thing, which is probably the most important besides having a buddy to talk to is just to don't beat yourself up about it. Just give yourself some grace, get through it, but get, also give yourself some tough love. So that's what I had to do. Cause when I stepped on the scale and I saw, I was like, I had gained seven pounds, like 7.3 pounds or something through all, since this whole like pandemic started, I cannot believe that I have to give myself some tough love, but also give myself some grace because we're encountering situations that we don't even know how to prepare for and how to handle emotionally and mentally. So, but I am still going to give myself some tough love and say, okay, you got to suck it up. This is, this is done. You're done. This is crazy. So, um, that's what I'm doing. So there are my tips. Um, I, like I said, I haven't had anything to eat, so I just have my coffee. Um, this is, uh, bones, cannot remember chocolate mint and I did add some of my mint skinny syrup in it to make it mintier because it wasn't quite as minty this is just plain with half and half right now um, I'm, I'm getting ready to refill this I just made a whole pot getting ready to refill this and I'm gonna have some of my chocolate collagen so I will show you what I'm talking about with that and then I need to get to work I think I only have like 10 minutes before I have to start work and I wanted to get some of my cleaning list done so I will show you guys when I eat something Hey guys, so it's the end of my work day. So food, I ended up having some of the sausage bites, sausage and egg bites that I made yesterday. So I have made those before in a meal prep video, I think, but I will link the recipe that I use down below. I had three of those with uh, two or three slices of bacon. And then for lunch, I whipped together a super quick egg roll in a bowl, and I have so much leftovers for that. So I'll be able to have that for leftovers for either dinner or lunch this week. So that's what I had for lunch. So I will put pictures or videos of those up here. And then the only thing I did not take a clip of only because I just grabbed it super quickly, and that was some of the barbecue habanero uh, almonds. I did have um, actually less than a serving of those. I had like 50. 14 or 15 almonds and that was it so I have tracked everything for the day I even pre-tracked my dinner my dinner is going to be burgers I'm gonna do a bacon cheeseburger bunless of course um, with a side salad so I'm gonna do um, just a salad with romaine and some cheese and some tomatoes and cucumbers and some blue cheese dressing so that'll be my dinner so i will show you that right up here and yeah my day has been really good i think i've only so i did i'll just i'll put my carb manager up here screenshot up here i believe i did 11 net carbs 17 total carbs and i went a little bit over on my fat i think i did like 123 on fat and i think my Maybe it was one. Th I think I'm like 10 over on my fat and then I'm like right on with my protein and everything is really good. So when I feel really um, like I'm going to be just fine today and satisfied, but I feel pretty satisfied today so far. Like I said, I was just keeping it with high fat. So this was a pretty good day. I'm just, I'm really trying to stay positive through all of this and trying not to think about what is going on outside the doors. It, it's hard, of course, because anytime you go anywhere, like I had to go to the store today at lunchtime because I forgot a couple things that I needed for dinners. And so I went and got those and picked up some more milk. This family, y'all, this family goes through so much milk. I don't know what it is. I think it's because my husband's home all day now and he drinks a lot of milk. And we are literally going through like two gallons of milk like every three days. I don't drink it and it's like crazy. Anyway, so I had to do that. I picked up two gallons. So they told me I said that better last until Friday because I really don't want to have to go to the store again until Friday. Um, anyway, so I did that. And, um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm just trying to find the positive and it was a pretty good work day today. I felt pretty positive about my work day. I'm getting a little bit, you know, better at working from home, getting used to it. I miss the social interaction of work though. Um, tomorrow though, we do have a virtual meeting. So it'll feel good at least to, you know, um, see all of their faces at least for, you know, an hour. 
um, yeah, I mean, we can video chat anytime on our um, Skype, business Skype thing that we use for inner office stuff. Um, so maybe I just need to start doing that. Maybe I'll feel a little bit better if we do that. I don't know. It just feels kind of, just miss everybody. I really do. It's going to be kind of bittersweet when we all get back together because it's going to be kind of like that nervous, like, do we... Do we hug each other or not? I don't even want to think about it because I just feel really sad about it. But anyway, just trying to be positive, trying to have a good day. And I felt like it was a pretty good day today. So I'm just going to go edit this video. Um, as far as videos for the rest of this week, I have a video going up on Wednesday that's going to be a review of a product that I received. And then um, you'll see this video tomorrow, so Tuesday. And then I'm going to record what I eat Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and that will be up on Friday. I'm just going to do just food. Probably not very much chit chat unless I have something to check in with you guys about. Um, so that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That'll be up on Friday. And then I have another product that I received. So I'm going to do a review on that one, or I might just throw it in one of my videos. I'm not sure. So there's that. I do miss like doing grocery hauls and going grocery shopping, but there's, you know, it's just not that time anymore. So if I do happen to pick up any like products or anything, when I do go out, I will show those with, share those with you guys, of course, but it's been pretty, you know, I've been pretty just sticking to the basics and not really looking for anything out there right now, just because I'm trying to keep a budget and just trying to keep things, you know, as budget friendly and as you know least amount of interaction as I can and just literally going into the stores picking up what's on my list and walking out I don't not not perusing anything and not having um you know if I had the ability to do the grocery pickups or the grocery delivery stuff like other places do I may have you know could do that online but we don't so I have been checking out some things on Amazon just um just trying to plan for some future videos and stuff. Another thing that I am renewing my thought process about maybe doing a recipe blog just so I mainly have places to land my recipes at. Uh, so I'm going to look at that a little bit um, while I have this time, you know, because I have time before work and time after work, time on my breaks, time on my lunch that, you know, I didn't have before because I wasn't home. And so I'm going to possibly do that. It's not going to be any fancy blog or anything. It'll just be literally somewhere for you guys to go and grab a recipe and easily print it. That way you're not having to look in the description box and trying to print that and, you know, copy and paste it and all that. So um, that is the plan. And I'm going to think I'm going to work on that. A little bit tonight and just work on it throughout the week and figure out how to do that so that was something I had mentioned before but just never brought it to fruition because I just didn't have the time to work on it and I thought if I can just get it done I think the upkeep will be fine it's just getting it started and getting it launched and that was kind of the plan for spring break but then that all you know I don't know spring break just was a wasted week because it was wasted on me just you know being negative and just crazy all this crazy stuff going on but I think I'm going to renew that um, thought now. I was thinking about it last night a lot. Anywho, hope you guys have a fantastic night and a great week. And let me know how you guys are all doing. Don't feel like you can't talk about anything in the comment section because I want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to have a place to talk um, and talk this through. I'm not going to judge anything because we can have all whatever feelings we want to have during this time. I truly believe that. So um, if you guys are not part of my Facebook group, go check it out because it is a safe place. I don't allow any like, you know, any kind of judgment towards anyone in that Facebook group. We all are just a positive place to talk and be there for each other. So um, there's that. So that link will be down in the description box. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.